Everyone, it is I, the mayor of D-Town, and it's Monday, y'all, which means it's a new indie game. It's the last Monday of the month, y'all. As a matter of fact, February starts this week. More specifically, February is on Wednesday, y'all. Wednesday, we got February. I hope y'all are ready. I don't... <clears throat> Yes. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Okay. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. Oh, so I don't have to read tonight? Nice. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Okay. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Okay, Missy B, safe driving. Welcome to the stream. Happy Monday. It is in that way that my book is special. Is it special if you haven't finished it? It is in that way that you are special. Oh, well, thank you. That was, that was very nice of you to say. Without you, there is no story. Mm, okay. Chapter 1. Normal isn't what it used to be. Yeah. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. What's that reason? What's he here for? Okay, this is cute. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you've been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. Close enough. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door, so never mind. Well, after I banged on your door till your grandma answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your pa's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone, too. She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry. I meant to say since she was missing. She's going to come back, Rollo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure. Lead the way. Yeah, Quirky messed up on it. <laughs> Damn it, Quirky. You weren't supposed to catch that. Oh, you drive it and it's a red light? I figured as much. Am I supposed to? Oh, look at the dandelions. The dandelion. Oh, see, now Missy done dropped the. Tickle. Hello, Skip. No, I mean, I like that. I'm not. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Wait. A charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. I'm not going to go around tickling people. Keep hold of it for now. 
Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Brother, if somebody tickle me, me, I fight them. Fight me, I fight. So, oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Right, right, Quirky? It was indeed weird. I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you could ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Solo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh! Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right. I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I, I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rollo. Alright. I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. To use the right word. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hey, Gran. Nope, that's not the voice. <clears throat> hey, Gran. I'm going to go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. You like Granny's house? But it's not her house, Missy. This is his parents' house, and Granny moved in because the dad died six years ago, and now the mom is missing. Yeah, she just kind of came and took over. You know, she threw the 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 covers on the on the couches and all that stuff. She just kind of, you know, made herself at home. Hold up now. Where are you and Rollo headed exactly? Uh, nowhere special. The less grand new, the better for everyone involved. Facts. We were just going to go heart for the day. Oh, I can ponder. <laughs> it's her house now, Missy. I feel you. We're going to go ponder for the day. We're going to hide for the day. We're going to chill for the day. We were just going to go chill for the day. We were just going to go chill for the day. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Yay. That is the power of charms. Okay. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Now I want to know what happens if I use a different word. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. Oh. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, great. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Ooh. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. I mean, if it's not going... We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Whoops. Yeah. 
I guess Rolo uh, bet some kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that, baby? It, it's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. And then I can go back. Oh, okay. So we can keep doing this. Let's see what happens if I hit ponder. Can we fast forward and see? We can't fast forward. That's disappointing. Not disappointing, but... Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Uh, you know, big stuff. Small stuff. Medium. Most, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Not the stick shoe. All right, so we're going to go back. I'm going to stick with my first choice. Uh, we said chill for the day. Just gonna go chill for the day. Yeah, a fast forward feature would not hurt. The best lies are built on yeah, yeah, we know. We, we talked about Okay, and now we've been shooed off. Now we're going to frolic... Oh, and Luca, you and Rollo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Not get into trouble with Rollo. <sighs> See, this is why Grams don't trust us now. Is there? Oh, come on, come on! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Dang it, Rollo! I guess we're uh. Few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. That's a really big ass sign. All right, well, let's go see what Rollo's looking for. You know the drill don't let anyone discover our secret path. Man's really just chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Mm. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. Hey, local eco economy boost. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In so the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Mm. So, should I try to talk to people? Hey, Mr. Kerr. Ooh, what? You go first. Mm. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Oof. I was worried about what his first name was going to be, but I'm glad it's William. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, uh, sh sure. Come on now. When I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. Sorry, trying to get my ears right. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty all right. You're gosh darn right it is. Thought it was October. Do you like magical instruments? You like magical instruments and be. Sorry. Hey, Jetson. Is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it. I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken the standing recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. You know what? 
I've never been fishing. All right. I wonder if it's the whole, just the ACC that I know. Oh, memories with Papa. Papa. Go pick your bait out from the tackle box, Buckaroo. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. It's not what? Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. How, how was I going to tie a tickle? What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Hold on. Because I need to see how on earth. Oh, I guess we can't go back yet. It's not time yet. Okay. Give it a good cast now. Not the perfect cast. You'll have to reel it in a bit faster, or your catch will lose interest. Heh. <laughs> oh. So I actually missed that up. Got it. Luca tied a shoe. What fish could resist? I should have went with tickle just then. All right, cast. Cast. Got it. Come on. Come on. Oh, let go. Let go. I've played enough of these games to know that when that string turns red, you let it go. Oh, what the? What is that? A boot? Where do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope the other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Good for skimming the surface. Oh, so for a tickle, it was a feather. Okay. Give it a good cast now. Okay. I guess tickle worked. Doing great. A rubber ducky? That's... Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you it'd turn up. <laughs> oh, Dad. Luca tied a short fish could... I mean, looks like we could use some new bait. What do you say we head out and find some more? Will I be able to pull something up? But I got to go get more bait. Oh, easy there, buckaroo. You don't know your own strength. That's my fault. I was supposed to stop and uh, that was my fault. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess as I go and get more words, it'll let me, uh, I am intrigued by this. So I'll just like keep messing with my memories until I get everything out the, out the pond. I'm, I want to see how this works out. And it's the same boot from earlier. Okay. Yep. Drift apart. Not fair. Okay. New bait. Head out and find some more. He's not even getting up. How are you going to tell me? Let's head out and find more. Ah. Oh, you man. Dad's be. All right. I think this is the secret hideout. Is that a, is that a Gatling gun? Or a, like a harpoon on the top of the... Oh. Uh. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the tree house. Who the hell's old Jeff? I have so many questions. But this is a nice little tree house, you know, the door and all that. Oh. We can lounge. 
Before I start talking to him, let me see what else is going on. Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Oh, what a good friend. Oh, that's not the... Oh, okay. Okay. What's this top secret plan to start our summer? So... You would know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah. Well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since the foul harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place. We would, Rollo. We would. Wait, wait, wait. It's it's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You actually want to go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rollo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rollo. Now that I've Think about it. Poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so there's our pal. He's exhausted. Are y'all still beating bullies? Okay, good. Whew. I'm just... Uh, <sighs> Catching my breath a bit. Go on. I'll catch up. I man must have really sprinted up here. The gym here is so packed. They're building a second one, but I decided to start going back in January. Yeah, because, you know, it's the first, you know, it's January. Everyone's in resolution mode and everybody's trying to be better, do better, get hot boys up, hot girls summer, get their summer bodies ready and stuff like that. Wait till February. Middle of February, March. You know, the it'll 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 thin out. It'll thin out. Someone was on the machine for 20 minutes, you was mad. Why you wait? Ah oh, man. Hey Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say that I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. Is she? You know what? I'm going to mind my business. I'm going to mind grown women's business. That's what I'm going to do. You be safe now. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Is that anything? The two wandered down the wooden path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good! I guess that's supposed to be me. Luca! Just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy. What's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. Wait, I didn't even know we was having a rendezvous. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Wait! And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. What? Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Why would we put... Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, 
Not really, no. I can't say that I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy. Baby, would I lie to you? Luca, wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite pl places to stand around and uh, be useless. Marlo? So, we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Marlo? Marlo? Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And... She's right around that corner, isn't she? Not getting into trouble with Rallo. Don't mind me. Just lurking over here. Uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you stuck out a morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were, le chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm going to level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all got to pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit by Hank Atomic Shrinko Ray. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's got to be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Mola froze as Roxy took a step toward him. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, damn it. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Rocky was to be a little chill. This ain't th this ain't it, but here we are. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. That can't be it. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining. We just want to take it easy. Oh my god. He has his elbow, his arm on the back of the wall. Oh my god. Do y'all remember them old timey poses where people would pose on the wall where they'd be on like, they got the foot up, they got the foot on the back of the wall, and, and then they just, they just hit him with the flex. Oh, well, not hit him with the, or like they are. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rallo's problems have a way of becoming my problem. And Pa always said, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Oh, Rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report. Guess we're investigating alone. So, let's see. What are you up to this lovely day? Nope. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. I'm assuming that sign over there means. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Beacon Beacon? Right, because they're Beacon Pies. <gasps> Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about. News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about. The old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. 
Rollo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rollo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing, and change is a dangerous animal. Oh, new word, change. All right. I guess this is the way that we need to go. Hey, Solomon. Apologies. No time for chit chat. Wait, is this where we need to be? Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. Oh. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. True. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. I'll check back later. Luca, my boy. Hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. Oh my gosh. I... Is that what I have to look forward to? With my, like, talking to my nieces and nephews and grandchildren and all of that? Just being, like, old and... <sighs> it's not... Oh, my gosh. Going around, hey. Hey, grandchild. Have you seen your grandmother? I've been looking for her. Tell your grandma. Grandpa needs his meds. Like, what? No, this is not the... Okay. Let me continue. And I've gotten that out of my system. Let's see. The phone booth was brand new. Heart of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. Reborn? Why is... What? It didn't see much use. Yeah, I mean, who... Who... Where... Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. Facts. If you're going into Weepwood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Not this big ass uh, honeycomb. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Oh. Okay. No turning back now. Caution. Electrified fence. Is that... Sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Oh? Okay. So what would Rollo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rollo would do. So that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Can I leave? Luca knew that if he gave up now, he'd never hear the end of it from Rollo. Oh. Okay. Alright, well let's, uh... Let's look around. Oh. That was not part of the plan. Can I pick up this can? I'm curious as to what's supposed to be happening. Oh, I can throw mushrooms. Okay, let me hang on to this because I feel like I'm going to need it for something. Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. Looks old. Mm. Mm. 
as sparks flew from oh. the lights, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Oh, okay. That's two. One more to go. You know what? The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. I thought something crazy was going to happen if I threw the can. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Uh -huh. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. Oh. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Oh. So Rollo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rollo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. No. metal to hear better a zipper a zipper footsteps the sound of footsteps grew louder why why did he hear a zipper who's in there hello hmm Shit. S H I T spells shit. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab, into the green light. This isn't creepy. This is a story about change, apparently. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. Is that? The end? Oh. I probably should have warned you about this. Yeah. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. So we're gonna have So we're gonna have to play through this a few times. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Okay. In the past, a little shit. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. How on earth? Oh, he kicked her. Make a break for it. What have you done? Ah! Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps. You got to come home eventually. Sorry. Investigate the Valentine Warehouse with Rollo. Okay. So you know what this game reminds me of? This is like, ah, uh, well, obviously the one, what was the game we was playing? At dawn? At dawn? At dusk? That's still dawn? Uh, hold on. Why can't I think of the name of the damn game? Y'all know what game I'm talking about. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, let me see if I can look it up in my Steam. In my Steams. Nope. 
at as dawn at dawn what was that what was it called I'm, okay well obviously we just search for dawn no dusk as dusk falls there we go it feels like at dusk falls and it also feels like that other game uh detroit becoming human but not as detroit becoming human maybe more 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 as dusk falls with like some cutesy animals and such gotta go back in time and fix the past and whatever it's adorable all right um here not like i can run anyway oh we still gotta talk oh 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 we just told him never mind uh boy's got too much of his father in him a real shame Oh no, not the shame. Dang it, I didn't talk to what's his name. I win. Uh, uh, little help. I am the champion. Where we we were racing. Did, did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. Ah! It... It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Facts. Not sure I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Oh my god, he really touched it! Why did you do that? Is it finally getting to the creepy part? I thought it was creepy. Yeah, exactly, Quirky. I'm waiting for the creepy part to kick in as well. I mean, getting kidnapped and my story ending by the guy in the green mask. That was, that was a little creepy. I'll give him that. Why did you do that? Pa always says, you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe distance. Wow, he really, uh... Alright, well, we'll do what we did last time. Whoa, you're a genius. And then we'll pick up a mushroom from here. And whoop. And whoop. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check this out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there any ever doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did, did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. That boy's probably playing around in radioactive water. Oh man, the door is locked. Try harder. No dice. It won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Damn, he really threw him in there. Come on, Lady Luck. So, what's in there? 
Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Hold on, let me see if you got here. Command to Hank. Atomic, Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic Ground Command. You're coming in five by five. Too damn long. Chris has to finish school. Ah! Well, the quirky wizard. Hope We hope the quirky wizard uh, gets his education in and does great things with his degree. We are rooting for him up in uh, Indiana. Godspeed, the quirky wizard. Godspeed. How, uh, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? One's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands is covered in squish. Oh, scoot over. I'm coming in. Oh. oh, is he about to throw sludge in there? What are they going to do? Escape! Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh, gross. They go, they go drop it right on you. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I just wasn't prepared for that. Oh, God. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Why would he do that? Aha! Not the body, not the toe tag! It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Dr. Prescott, Thief Engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag of bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Oh, okay, 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 uh... I, I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would there be? Now y'all got me looking up FAMU programs? <laughs> ah! Ah! They threw the hand out. Oh, the hand twitched. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right. We've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luba. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. But then why wait till 100? Rallo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. He really waited. You gonna catch to a hundred for real? Sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster. 
so let's see counters. I feel like a strong 25 count would have been enough. That's the spirit. I hope not, Quirky. Time to haul ass. Haul ass. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Mm-hmm. You love the art style of this game? Okay. I like that. Because we need a new game for Wednesday, and I kind of want to see where the story goes. So. You wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, Max torment up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Wait, but he missed dinner. Oh, it's on the list for you to play? That's what's up, Black. Okay, we're actually going to stop right here. This is a good stopping point. All right? This is the, this is the stopping point, right? Yeah. So let's go and do this. Tonight, I had the pleasure of playing Beacon Pines, uh, developed by Hiding Spot and published by Fellow Traveler. It's a cute choose-your-own-adventure type game where words have meaning and consequences. Uh, you kind of play through, you help your friend out. There's a big mystery story that you're trying to find out. And we can't wait to find out what that mystery is. The audio was appropriate. Like this, it sounded the way it needed to sound. Love the art style. It was like a nice, cute, quirky, um, you know, a vibe. Is that the word we want to go with? Yeah, I guess we'll go with a vibe. It was, it was a vibe. It was. Um, the narrator reading the book. That was cool. That's a nice touch. I like it. Um, I like that the characters don't necessarily talk. They do the Animal Crossing thing, so it gives you, like, you know, space to kind of put your own voice in, if you will. And I like how you're learning about the different choices that your words have in a situation. Um, this game is not... Um, main screen jealous. So if you need to click on other things, it will stay there and it'll cooperate with you. So if you have multiple screens, love this game for you. All in all, I give it um, I give like I give it four. I give it four muffins. It's a solid game. I like it. Um, I want to see more of it. Um, we'll definitely play again, and uh, I can't wait to uncover this mystery of Beacon Pines and see if we can find this boy's mom and see where they are. And that is Beacon Pines.